Day. Yes, it's finally Friday. Finally. Been a rough week for y'all too. It it's been interesting to say the least. It's been a it's been one of them weeks for me. <laughs> yeah. We had um we played catch up because you know last week was the first week back from the ice. Well this week was, you know, everybody finally got back on their feet and everything, so Trying to get all our stuff and our ducks in a row. Yeah. Our expo starts uh, two weeks from today or something like that. So you have to manage, you know, around that. And then we have, um, they might doing a Valentine's giveaway. Mm hmm. But, you know. That'll be cool. Yeah. Because it is the 14th. I That's thought it was the right. 13th. It is not. It is the 14th. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's three days after the Super Bowl, is how I remember it. So. And there you go. <laughs> so I see you guys got a new product. I see those do. advertised. Those are cool. The, They're interesting. That's the one thing we're going to show today. So yeah. those are cool. Everybody loves clip tools, right? Yeah. Our our most popular selling one is it's this set for one. Right. Well, let me turn it around. So this is the most popular set that we have, and they're available in green also. Mm -hmm. They may be just to come out in blue. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. Okay. But um, out of this set, the Up 43 is, I guess people like because it's slim mm -hmm. and it's easy to manage. But then they finally come out with these, and I don't know if the light does it justice or not. So we're going to take it off. Yeah, those are nice. Yeah, and they're fixing to be available in individuals. Oh, that's good. So if you don't need this one, you know, or whatever, because everybody has their own preference. Instead of buying the whole set, you buy the individuals. Right, those are nice. Yeah, and they come in green. I've got a green set hanging around here somewhere. Right there. I like the fact that they look like a little quarter inch. Ratchet? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, those are nice. That index and parts cool too. Yes. That, that way you can get it in whatever angle you need it. Well, I liked that whenever you say index and that, which of course that means it moves. <coughs> Excuse me. So you push it in and you just put it wherever it goes. So yep. that one over there, you know, it's stuck. Like right. It's not going any other way. So this one, I mean, mm -hmm. that's pretty nice. <laughs> Very nice. I seen an Instagram post on those. I was like, man, that would, that indexing is, is where it's at right there. It is. And just to compare, so our quarter inch ratchet is right there. So you have the quarter inch ratchet and then that. So I mean, it's literally the handle's the same size as the quarter inch ratchet. Yeah. And so the clip is just a little bit longer. Very nice. So they did a good job on those. I think so. And see now, you'll have to change all your stuff over to black chrome. So it might. <laughs> that marketing genius, ain't it? Just I, keep pulling them dollars out. That's what it is. Hey, it's okay. Yep. We have a. Uh, you know, the teal, they come out with mm -hmm. it. We have a lot of people that are actually talking about switching over because I made the joke that I'm going to turn all my purple stuff in. And so we've actually got a customer that said, hey, is it possible that I, we can do like a, a trade-in on our stuff? And I was like, I mean. What colors does he got? What color does he have? Yeah. The blue? Yeah, the wow. blue. <laughs> and he wants to trade it for the teal. I'm going to have to jump on that then. Save a little yeah. money. But still, because yeah. I've only got 
two, you know, two blue ratchets is all I got. See, now you can get you some teal mm -hmm. and go in there with it, and then you and I actually Tyler I got three. I got the original chrome, the first one that they released, the 18 inch, and then the 12 inch black, and then the 12 inch and the black chrome stuff. So. Yeah. Well, the good thing is the teal is actually going to be available in all yep. colors. So you have, you know, we have the regular chrome finish, mm -hmm. we have the black chrome finish, we have nickel plated. So have a variety out there. So I really, honestly, it's like it's your mm -hmm. preference. Okay, so I want all my stuff nickel plated. Great. And the one that I use the most is still the first one I bought, the orange handle. Like that's the one I keep in my roll car, and I use it all the time. Like the others just kind of hang out. Well, I made a joke to Michael. So he, when he started being a tech or whatever, he got on the Mako truck and he got a, it's a 12 inch Mako ratchet, mm -hmm. just the green with the regular chrome because that's all they had at the time. So whenever the purple come out, I told him, I said, that's what I want. So I have like my own little set. Right. So, and I try to help him like change the oil in the Tundra or anything like that. Well, he was changing the oil in this and I was like, well, I'll, I'll go help. Well, I had to get the kids situated in the house. So I was like running and getting my stuff out of my little tool bag. And I come running back outside. He said, I've already got it, which he had. He is old one is what I called. Right. I said, but I have my new one. Like I <laughs> you wanted to use it. Didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but those tub of towels right there, I kind of, I laughed about it. So he is the picture that I took. Cause I thought it was pretty neat to show all that he used right. on doing it. Cause I mean, normally you would think you'd have to have this big old mm -hmm. set of tools. You don't, you know, just to do a little yeah. bit of maintenance, you have like your necessities, which mm -hmm. is his is that 12 inch Mako ratchet. And so we took this tub of towel right here, which I know you advertise them a oh, lot. Yeah, I love them. Fantastic. I mean, I don't know what they do in there, but his ratchet is old. Like, I mean, it's, it's old, you know, I, I, I just can't, you made it look brand new. It did. I mean, I took that thing and just, I mean. You know, now they have the juice. Do that. You can buy the spray bottle of the liquid that's in there. That way you spray like a big messy. Yeah. Yeah. I did not know that. I'll have to look into that. So, which you may not know because you didn't see in the shop, but I moved my lift yesterday. Um, it got put out. Obviously, when you take those hydraulic lines down, you're gonna have, you know, oil everywhere. So I got the new concrete. Well, I'm sealing the concrete this weekend. So there was oil on the floor. Oh, I yeah. took that tub of towel juice, squirted it on there, took a paper towel, got every bit of it. So you didn't have to have no grit, no nothing. It it's just great. works. This stuff is. Um, I don't know what they make it out of. But it works. Well, I need some house cleaner <laughs> because I got three kids. They do. They just take that spray and it works on anything. I have to do something because we've yeah. got our middle was in the science fair today. Mm -hmm. So she did melted crayons. Oh, yeah. Let's just say those get on hardwood floor. Mm -hmm. They are not nice to get up. Yeah. So, yeah. Somebody come up with something to get. I'll tell you melted a trick crayons. that we learned by doing that. You take your hair dryer and get it real hot and then mash a paper towel down in it and it'll suck it right into that paper towel. I hope so. And it's fixed, so. So we use some generic crayons because that's part of the experiment. Yep. Yeah. Mm. That's interesting. Works, well, those <laughs> tub of towel stainless wipes that y'all carry. Yes. So I got some of those and it works fantastic because we never, like, we're still living back in the, the 80s i guess you know we had a white refrigerator forever and when it died we got a black refrigerator oh. well when we got our new house we bought a stainless steel and it was supposed to have been the fingerprint resistant now if that ain't worth the yeah, crap that's a bunch of yeah. junk like that they ain't no if that's fingerprint resistant i'd hate to see the plane yeah you come to our house because it's we have just the plain stainless and yeah. our kids love the refrigerator it is like Caroline, it looked like she had hand painted the whole front of the refrigerator with little handprints, you know. So I was like, man, this sucks because I tried Windex and that didn't work worth a crap. No. So I got a bucket of those and easy peasy, but you have to do it every 
two days or it looks like that refrigerator is 47 year old <laughs> that's what i make the comment so you said the the stainless steel yeah. um and it's supposed to be fingerprint resistant so when we sell boxes you know we have the silver vein mm -hmm. and it almost looks like somebody went through and like dinged it up just a little bit right. if you want a box that does not show fingerprints at that's all, it huh that's your box to go now it will if you like Mm -hmm. completely drench your hand and touch all over it you can be able to see the color difference but as far as fingerprints sounds like that white matco box i was like you'll never be able to keep it clean you'll never be able to keep it clean but my theory was i had a white truck and i never had to really wash it because it didn't really show the dirt and dust and pollen and all that. of course it's going to show <laughs> grease but yeah. which is good that way you can get it off but mm -hmm. When I had my black box, it was terrible. When I had my blue box, it was terrible. Now that I got this Matco box, it don't show the dirt and dust. Like It'll be filthy dusty, but it don't look like it yeah. until you wipe a little spot, and then you gotta do the whole thing. But. Well, that's like this truck. Like if, Yes, our truck on the outside is dirty. One, our potholes are like manholes uh -huh. outside right now, so yeah, if you wash it, it's, it's just horrible. But mm. anyways, our kids like to go down with their finger and wipe, and wipe it. <laughs> and if you ever see our truck in person, the back corner is going to have drawings from yep. our our thirteen year old. Bless her heart. She just she loves to draw. She loves art. So she will have like hearts and stuff mm -hmm. all on this side. Well, then our little boy will get on the back, and you know how the lift gate goes up yep. down. Well, yeah. he'll be marking there because he can barely reach the top. And then our other one will be on this side over here. See, I got drawing. It looks like yeah. graffiti everywhere. Everywhere. That's cool, though. So, I mean, <laughs> it looks good until they start doing all that. And then you can tell how dirty it actually is. Well, there you go. Well, y'all got big plans to buy the expo out? We hope to. We definitely want to restock. We're considering this like a, we want a, a big push at expo to unlock every deal that we can. So. There you go can't sell it if you ain't got it right exactly and i'd rather have a stuffed truck looking forward to that yeah. so that'll be fun all right guys well thanks for hanging out with us on a friday if you need a clip lifter set that one's pretty cool like always <laughs> thanks for hanging out with us if you like this video hit that thumbs up check over merchandise cool tools and discount codes down here if you're not subscribed take your finger click that button y'all have a great weekend see ya